All right, I managed to open the elevator. I will show it off here after whatever happens up here. Get off my friend. Good luck, buddy. So I guess we're gonna be going for the boss. And in that case, bring a sacrifice. Be a good time to use. Ooh. Well, how did I not see this elevator before? So this is a second elevator. Oh my god. Jesus. So this leads back to here. I don't know where that other elevator I just found went either. It opened up like a hidden wall. So this is how we'll get to the boss. And I guess we'll give it a try. Don't worry man, I'm gonna book it. This man's got the plans. I'm gonna try to book it a little bit quicker because I will be watching the cutscene and that's gonna screw him. Actually, no, it might not. It'll let him watch it too. Oh my god. He died. Oh my lord, have mercy on my soul. So much bullshit. So much bullshit. Did they come the whole way up here? This is the boss room. You wanna leave? Look, we're making eye contact right now. This is getting awkward. Just just walk away. It's not looking like there's any summon signs here either. So it's either risk all of these soul. Well, no, I have the ring of sacrifice on. It's really not that bad, but this fight is a pain in the ass. So when we were fighting the dancer yesterday, I did say that this is one of the fights that would probably give me trouble too. And I'm still gonna hold to that. Fuck it, let's go. Oh dear, another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one, purloiner of cinders. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire-linking curse, the legacy of Lords, let it all fade into nothing. done quite enough. Now have your rest. So the small guy is the one talking, not that guy. But essentially this guy wants to fly the page. Oh no, I want to be max health. I forgot about this dude's attack. So we do some good damage, and he does too. Oh 
Oh my. That should have hit me if anything ever has. in while the cutscene's going. Jesus, that's an everyday thing now. Oh, dear brother. I'm on my way. My brother. Unyielding sword of Lothric's prince. For that is our curse. So, <clears throat> yeah, now it's both of them. He's basically just gonna have, hang his frail ass off his back and heal him. Shoot magic and be a pain in your ass. So we're gonna try to do this. But I'm not guaranteeing anything. Oh, look at my health. Oh, this is not gonna happen. Oh my god. Yep. Box this up. That's why I didn't want to do this area yet. Doing solid damage, but go ahead. Man. Yep. We can definitely but do it. With the summon, maybe he's gonna take a lot more hits, and I can't tank a lot of that with my shield. But you never know. Alright, so I just did a little bit of summoning. Got a few sunlight medals. Got two now. So, we got Sacred Oath now, which is a pretty nice miracle if you don't know what that does. Essentially, it like buffs you, and if anybody you summoned or you were summoned by is near you, you can buff them as well. I'm not exactly sure what the buff is, but it's nice. Very nice, very nice, how much? So one more thing I want to do before I crash today. And that is going to be... Heading back to the dancers and we're going to head towards Osiris. Alright, how's it going everybody? Tropic here. Picking back up from where we left off yesterday. Um, we, uh... Did most of the Grand Archives, got the Lothric, but didn't beat him, and uh, turned in some Sunlight Medals. I got a few more, helping out a few people after that, and then I was going to do this area, but I ended up crashing for work. So I figured we'd try to get through either this whole area or some of it before I go to sleep today. Easy backstabs, easy. So there should be a little jump off point somewhere on this elevator. Maybe not this one. Oh, yep, it is this one. And then the whole ground here will cause toxic, so be careful of that. Mm -hmm. 
Tomb King's Garden. We're gonna grab an item over here. Estus Shard, nice. That'll give us 12. So there are a bunch of these guys here, bigger knights. I'm trying to think of where the shortcut is. There's a chunk. I believe it's off to this right side to get the shortcut. Just gonna hug it. another spot to jump off on this elevator too so we will hit that whenever we uh, open the shortcut get a scale down there Fucking annihilate that dwarf. Fucking buff guys piss me off. So now that door's open. So if you wanted to from here, you could make a full sprint to the boss room that would be completely up to you it's not that hard to get to if you just want to knock the area out quick you're not worried for items you can i'm gonna try to pick up a few of them i'm not gonna go out of my way to scavenge every item but so there's the roll off point dragon scale ring See what that does. Reduces damage from backstabs. Oh, okay. And if you were wondering, I was helping a guy earlier do uh, a boss fight, and he dropped me this. So pretty nice. So now I can have my full brass set. Definitely thankful for that. He dropped me like one or two other rings I already had too and a couple weapons. I guess just random shit he didn't want. So, let's drop down. The boss is that way past that night. We'll go grab a couple of these items. What summon is this? Hawkwood. That's pretty cool. So we're just gonna make a sprint for some of these items. None up there. I gotta see one more. These guys are so loud. Oh my lord.
Dark gem. That last item over here I missed. should be it for items I might have missed one or two that are like real tucked away but most of the main items are right there we got the shadow uh, garb pretty nice and then we also got the claws which I believe are a dex weapon so if that's your thing but I'm gonna rest at the fire and I'll be right back at this elevator I know I said I was just gonna go back to the elevator and come back, but I figured I'll show my little route I like to run to get there quick. With all the enemies included. Ah, uh, I knew he was gonna hit me. That's the one you gotta worry about. Normally he'll swing and hit you. There's a high chance of it happening. But do the same thing as we did before, roll off at the end. Take this little shortcut. And kill off this guy that buffs him. Then what I'm going to try to do is bait each one of these guys. If I can bait them, I'll bring Hawthorne with me. If they both aggro, I'll make a bolt for the door. Oh. God damn, that damage though. Yeah, fuck it, let's bolt for the door. I don't like being down two flasks already with this fight. I should have went and used that, that's the shard. And we got a little cutscene. I really like this boss fight a lot. This is one of the better fights to me of the game. It's not real hard, but just cool and... Ah, you ignorant slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? Of the power of my beloved Ocelot, child of dragons. That's a beautiful well, child he has in his hands. I will not give him up. For he is all that I have. So I think this guy's like a kind of like a Seath type deal where he tried to make a dragon or something like that and became a dragon. Oh, bad, bad swing. Roll out. You don't want to be in there when that happens. Are you hiding from me? Come out. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly fear? Fuck, I should have healed. No, no. Show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. Oh no, I forgot I put a parry shield on. Stage two. Oh, 
like that's the same sound as from uh, Bloodborne with the baby. No. Waste another heal. Oh my god. Fucking hell, man. Let me block. Oh my god. Soul of Consumed Osiris. So that's one we're going to need for a spell. Like I said, not a too difficult boss fight, but he can catch you off guard. We'll go ahead and head to the next area. These guys will be coming to an uh, area in the future. Oh, there is one. They're like the snakes from Dark Souls 1. Large shard. Yeah, they drop a lot of large shards. Path of the Dragon. So I'm going to go ahead and set that. We will need that eventually. Uh by my sword. I don't know how many gestures I'm missing now. It can't be too many. Probably maybe five max. Titanite scale. I didn't think this was a dead end, is it? No. So this is like a little hidden area. My whole first playthrough, I actually didn't find this until like the very end I read, or I saw I was missing a boss trophy. Untended Graves. So you'll probably recognize this from the beginning of the game. This is pretty much the exact beginning area, but very dark, very spooky. that last one before we go in. Ah, I should have baited him. Ash and Estus ring. Go over that quickly. Uh, right there. Increases FP restored with Ash and Blast. So I'm not using those, but they definitely help. I don't know, if Attunement wasn't such a pain to level up, I would probably, uh, you know, maybe grab a Miracle or two to help. Oh, 
I might do a little video eventually of some of my uh, build I did with uh, Miracles and Fate. More large shards off of these guys, pretty nice. Thought that was an item. There is another crystal lizard here. Two of them. That's so bad. Two more scales. I don't know why my game sounds so much louder than it has been. I'm hoping my settings are alright with the sound and I'm not too quiet in the recording, but I don't know. I believe there's one more bonfire before the boss of this area. probably take out the rest of the areas like like tomorrow I'll do the smoldering lake area the day after that I'll probably do um, the hidden dragon area and do most of that this is an NPC invasion not another player we'll cast a lot of magic Oh, <laughs> beautiful. Wait, what? Excuse me? Why did I kick? What was that little tiny kick? I know I'm just taking hits left and right. I'm not going to do the boss just yet. I'm going to homeward bone and have full heals. Swordmaster. Oh, that's the guy from uh, Firelink with the katana. Oh, there goes that item. Alright, yeah, let's homeward bone quickly.
We're gonna just try and spend the souls. Go over some of my levels and all that and a couple things that happened while I was doing PvP and summoning. So one thing I did notice, um, somebody's gonna be missing here. And I'm gonna show who it is. I didn't Welcome kill him. Home, Ashen one. Speak thine heart. Very well. Then touch the darkness with Hagen. So so far we got 30 30 vigor. I'm leaving that there, I think. Seven attunement, 35 endurance, vitality's 13, strength 16, 40 dex, intelligence is 10, faith is 9, luck is 11. We're level 82, so we have about 38 levels to play with. Let's throw two into it. I think I'll go 35 bigger. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. And then from there, I'll probably dump decks up to 50, and then in the rest of my points might go to endurance. Ah, just what need. Ah. Infusing. <laughs> Not what I meant to say. So I did do a bunch of infusions. I don't know which other ones I need to do really. I know I need to do a hollow one. There's a chaos one. We got fire, chaos, heavy, refined, we got sharp, deep, simple, blood, dark. No, I haven't done a deep one. Those are the ones that you get from the beginning area because uh, that guy dropped me one, so that's a dupe. So I still need to do a deep infusion. Poison. Still quite a few. We'll buy out some more shards for other weapons to upgrade. Ashen one. Back again. Up. So there's a few more sorceries I need to buy, too. They cost a good bit. Do not be gone. Uh, I know I showed Carla in the last video I did, or the last time I played, so this lady's missing. And as well as the guy from Kareem with the mace. I'm assuming, from what I remember, I think she died from us giving her those tomes. Like, says something about the dark nibbling at her. So I think she died. Natural causes. Not my fault. Uh -huh. so we're going to need 10,000 souls to do that. Fuck. Soul of the Dancer. I didn't know you could make one with hers. So we need that one. I'll have to do the Dancer ah, next playthrough. Do not. Fuck, man. I thought you could only make her weapons. That's bullshit. Well... Yeah, that's the one we need to go to. I was wondering why I was in the first tab. Let me take a drink quick. Oh. Alright, so we're gonna book it to the boss, basically as quick as we can. 
and hope that's not an awful idea. We're gonna have to use a heal, but that's not that bad. Let's try bringing this summon with us, see how it goes. This guy can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Definitely one of the harder guys, like the dancer. So basically tutorial boss but hard. Okay, that distraction we got some good damage off. Oh my god, so fast. So fast. Come on, Swordmaster, please help. We gotta get Swordmaster near him so the aggro comes off. Oh my god, he just sent him flying. ourselves another bonfire. Black Knight Glaive. What is that to scale with? D and D, uh eh, twenty eight strength too. I'm not big on that. The Black Knight Halberd was uh my first playthrough of Dark Souls one, that was the weapon I beat the game with. No, no, no. I went through the game with the Black Knight Halberd. I beat the final boss with the Crystal Halberd. Because, uh, Gwen is actually weak to Crystal. Never knew that playing through the first game originally. Oh, God. Had a bit of an incident. We're good. I dropped my cigarette. So another Black Knight over here. We'll go take him down. This one has an ultra great sword. I keep forgetting that I switch shields and this one doesn't parry. So when they do my weapon arc, I got two-handed. And 
and there we go. Only 50k souls from the boss fight and the enemies. That's kind of whack. Coiled sword fragment. So I believe that lets you uh, homeward bone for free. Kind of like the feather in Dark Souls 2. I thought I saw like him burnt into the chair there. That's why I came to check it out. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? So you can actually buy some stuff from her. And I do want to buy this set. Best not to... Blacksmith's hammer. Say well, anything else. What? To skirt the curse's grasp. Tarry not for long. Tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs. But remember, fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps that captive already. Like the poor girl. <laughs> to skirt the tarry not for long. I wonder what that means. Said something about the girl. Dead end. I believe we get one more item in here I want to grab. What did I just hear? I hear that. that sound is but I hear it no items Let's check up here Can't go through there. There's gotta be a hidden wall. There's no way there's not a hidden wall down here. So we were on this side when I heard it. No hidden wall, are you kidding me? Oh, I think I know where that's at. I'm stupid. That's outside. ring nice so if you backstab a lot this ring is really good 
boosts the critical attack. So if you backstab and parry, highly recommend that. The ring we bought increases faith. And we also got Artorius's armor. Wolf Knight Helm. We're gonna see if we can't wear it. Oh, badass. And we can. Black Knight armor. Lit. I could have swore you got the Firekeeper eyes here, but maybe not. I could be wrong. So we got the sword fragment. And we went the whole way down on both sides. So I... I don't remember. I could have swore this is where you get Firekeeper eyes, though. It is. I should have noticed that wasn't like the normal ending to this hall, because this is where the girl sits. Eyes of a Firekeeper. I'm not sure if giving those to the firekeeper will uh, fuck with the ending at all, so I'm not going to actually give them to her, but if you pick those up, give them to her, and you'll get a little bonus type dialogue thing. But yeah, so from there, the next area we're going to be heading to... actually gonna be the abandoned tomb so tomorrow when I pick back up we'll clear out this area do the boss of this area I don't think I'm gonna grab every single item down here I'm gonna look up which ones there are so I know there's a tome real deep in here there's also uh the lightning stake miracle you get for killing this giant worm thing. This is where we came to, uh, what's his name? Henri's companion. We came here to kill him. But the boss door's over there. We'll be having some issues with this area tomorrow, but until then, I'll see y'all then.